Hello, and welcome back to the Forgotten Sanctum. Yeah. So, we are heading in further into the nice restricted section. Uh, we do need to rest first, so we'll do a quick I rest. See great potential and then restricted. we're heading further in. So, something good thinking. we'll start moving. We know there's a librarian standing here, so we need to kill him. Um, now, he looks to be alone, which obviously means one thing that we can be sure of. He's not alone. So, Eddier, yeah. would you do the honors? This section is restricted. Well, oh, because he was stunned. We had to wait for the whole stun thing to end before it started, I guess. Okay, knock yeah. him over. Good. Uh, everybody, get him. Yeah. Uh, so, if you could just blast him with some kind of thing. Oh, yeah, take away his constant recovery. That would be good. Good first move. Yeah, something like that. Uh, you're going to blast him with one of these. And you are going to blast him with one of those. Right, go. Lava will be on six. Oh, and uh, knock him over again. Right. Yeah. There's something you don't see every day. Well, I saw his brain fly away and uh, nothing else spawned, so I may have just overkilled the librarian. What do you okay. mean? He had Shea's war staff, a quarter staff, two handed. Casting, uh, okay, combat casting, concentration on critical hits with melee attacks. Not very good. What's the upgrade? Oh, he's also got an element to a scrimoire, which isn't very useful for us. What's the uh, upgrades on it? Damage is raw damage, or hit to crit in melee, and then you can give it a legendary upgrade. Okay, it's fine. It's not very good, though, for us. That's something I can do. Probably good if you had the right character for it. Cool. Um, a small plaque reads, The two took land and soldiers from the other, uh, from the one, and they both gave... The two took land and soldiers from the one, they both gave everything in return. Hmm... I don't know. Maybe the three-body agreement? We'll see. What else have we got? A small plaque reads, A hero of the people fell and rose as a servant of the crown. Well, that is the man who would be Skane. Because that was his yeah. story. Yeah, right away. Next one. A small plaque reads, They looked upon the world as it was and were unsatisfied, so they, thought, so they remade it as they thought it should be. The birth of Engweth, maybe? Okay. Small plaque reads, they built the empire founded on compassion and were crushed for their audacity. I think that's the Orlan Empire. Let's see. So it wasn't the Wilders. No. Uh, Birth of Engweth? Um, I think it's the Birth of Engweth is this one. I got this. I got this. Uh, let me just double check that's the right one. Yeah. Uh, Compassion. I think that's the Orlin one. So that would mean that this one over here is the... Probably the three-body agree um, agreement, but let me just read it again. Yeah. And then we'll quick save and go for it. Or oh, impress my ear against the device. Gears click and whir beneath the device's skin. I'll lay my palm up against the device. A low buzz growls and deepens until the inside of your ears begins to itch, then it abruptly ceases and you hear a click. Ooh, I hope that means I was right. Door opens. Must have been right. Good. I still have two books, though. Okay. Interesting. So, further in... Oh, it's way back into the central stacks? Oh. Keep it down. Okay. This is back into where I started, which is why I crouched, because I'm like, I'm okay with the people where I started, I think. Oh, these two places lead to the same area? Maybe? I guess I'm allowed here because it's not the restricted section. Okay, Chief Every Librarian. Every vestige of their identity has been forgotten. Right down to the bone. 
I suppose they do call WoW the eyeless face. Still, kind of makes it tough, don't it? I do like how all of them are just chief librarian because they have no per like you know that's what they were saying. They've all been broken down to just their uh, like even their face has been taken. Isn't this something? It is Consider something. Consider it done. It's disabled. Easy does it. Oh, we're just allowed to take that. Oh, all right then. Won't sneak then. Um, I'm gonna continue down this way, disabling traps as I go. Okay. Um, this way. If we could rest for a bit, I'd be much obliged. That was really not very good. Did you know you reek right. of that hagfish you carry? Uh, Dispose we have of it at once. An uninfested cat here? called Boris. Uh, this fluffy old man enjoys sleeping, affection from strangers, classic tragedies, and the scent of herbal teas. He probably wants to help you study. Oh, very good. Accuracy with spells goes up. We have a catalog record warden contract. This time worn sheet of parchment appears to detail an updated location of the contract within the archives. The agreement concerning our wardens in the collections has been identified as a prime candidate for duplication due to its advanced age. It waits its turn with the handless scribe. Okay. Uh, catalog record maintenance log flesh controller construct. The chief librarian caught one of the wardens poring over the manual for the construct controller. Under absolutely no circumstances should they be provided access to such advanced technology, the manual has been relocated to the circulating library in the central stacks. Uh, memoirs of Heldir. In response to Helic, um, into Weck Heldir's recent leave of absence, her incomplete memoirs have been reallocated to her study in the oratory and will remain there until such a time as she completes them or her body is found. Ah, so that's probably what we need to get the last bit of that um, thing unlocked. Oh, it's the... Maybe we already read it? I don't know. Anyway. It's fine. Uh, Celestial Grim... The Burkana Celestial Grimoire? One of the collection's recently acquired works were found in the possession of a grimoire containing the alarming variety of astronomical her heresies. It's been, it has been remanded to the quarantine section of the archives for safekeeping. Okay. Did we solve that quest? Um... I think we did. Oh no, here we go. Pursue her, find the volumes, wasting minds. Oh, oh, well, there we go. I can just bring her the book. That's fine. Uh, illuminated manuscript. Another book found its way in, flapped right up from the depths like a gilded pigeon. Where do they come from? The walls? I just patched the hole in the Temple Rev of Revelation. The chief librarian says she's. Stopped collecting abandoned books from the sidewalks and attack it. Clearly the spores haven't learned to write. Hmm, and then... Incantations of the Hand. This decades rendition of the incantations has been complete with no time to spare as the volunteer we borrowed to scribe it expired upon penning the final page. It's been installed in a fitting locale within the archives where we all might keep an appreciative eye on it. Okay. That's just cataloging where their books are. Isn't this something? It's definitely it's something. Challenge. It's many somethings. I will be disabling all of those somethings. Yep. Remains of uh, Lucala, Watcher of uh, Pezala. Alright, uh, there's these things behind us as well. I'd like Watch to disable that. I'm assuming if you activate any, what all of mean? these things activate. Sure. Uh, Lantern of the Boreal Light, Ship of Ilst, Watcher of Yarma. Okay. You don't seem to mind that I just take things from here now? I triggered a trap. Oh no. If we can- Yeah? Oh no. Turn, 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 Who turn, turn, turn. Have here? Yep, not good. Um, one of those, please. Just to, uh, keep everyone away. Empower it, actually. Yeah. Asana. Um. Probably one of those. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Fasana. One of those. Zoti. 
uh, move in. A loth. Well, you know what to do. One of those. And then we are going to switch to our bow. And we're going to blind the one that's coming in this way. Oh, oh I realised that I just did a bit of anti-synergy there. Oops. Retarget onto those two. Onto that one, apparently. Not quite what I meant to do, but seemed to work out for a little bit. Okay, we're gonna go blind this one next. How do you like that? Love that love never right, uh, and then we'll blind this one next. Nice. So that's good. They're all being blinded once. So they've got the gouging strikes. Uh, use use this for a heal. Nice. I did shake in them. Should die any moment now. Eddie, or I think, actually hurts him quite a lot of his mace. Something here that works. That's fine. Uh, knock it over. I'll teach you a lesson. Kill it. Darkness flows and the light wanes. Okay. Uh, you don't need to be so depressing. That's not very helpful. Right. Dead. Good. Hey. And Zoti survived. Also good. Oh, he's got two injuries. How did he get those? He, he's like one this step from dead. Cannot last, you know. Wait, that didn't clear his injuries. Those rests didn't clear the injuries. Because I'm out of food. That's the problem. I'm out of this food, probably. Yeah, I'm going to be out of uh, the fruit soon as well. Maybe that's it. Uh, you're going to both have might. Uh, we'll have deck. Oh, I'll have decks, and then... That's pretty good, actually. Anything else that's better? Recovery time is pretty good as well. Silverfin? Intellect. Perfect. Why are you carrying so many eggs? Surely they will spoil. And that 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 fixed the um, injuries. Perfect. Hmm. I was just out of stuff, basically. So we could head into the center, but I'm going to continue down this route just because I've chosen a route, so I might as well go there. I'm waiting for a trap to pop up. That's interesting. I've said interesting too many times. That's intriguing. The deep gouges, dried uh, gobbets of slobber, and fractured lock in this chest suggest uh, several things. Um, all of them unfortunate. And that unlocks the shortcut. Nice! Okay. So that's the way back. We might as well take it, right? Uh, we have something to do back in the main hall, so we might as well circle back that way. And then see what else we got. Because we need to give the imp our um, piece of paper. Oh, and we have to go and see uh, Burkano and finish that quest. We've got double things to do out here. Nice. So, first of all, hello. What you want, Ground Stink? I found this recipe for invigorating nightmares and immediately thought of you. Huh? Dumb Gravel Stink need new drugs. Something stronger. Something uglier. Squinting down at the parchment, Drowsy Puke nods and begins co uh, combining ingredients. He sprinkles the mixture into the nose of a passing rat and chuckles merrily when the creature stiffens into a ball and dies. New drugs ready for sampling. Sleep well, idiot. Drowsy Puke leans in and kisses your forehead. Uh, resistance to resolve afflictions. That's something good thinking. Okay. Wait, is that all say last for what one rest? Want, just checking. Yeah, I'll say what last one rest. I was just curious because I don't I didn't remember seeing that before, so I was wondering did some of them actually say, you know, last for three rests or something? At which point you can stack them up and start to get good buffs, but whatever. They didn't say that. Right, so now, because we've already cleared out this place, we can just head straight over to where we need to go. And uh complete this quest. Right, hello. Can you make the stars right again? Yeah, here's your book. 
She accepts the book with a sceptical frown, but her eyes lock on the page as soon as she finds diagrams of the sky charted in a way that emphasizes order and harmony. Would you look at that? <laughs> she lays her hand flat on the page and closes her eyes, sighing. Everything slowed down and all the noise in my head went quiet. Thank you. She opens her eyes and looks to you with a slowly forming smile. And thank you, friend. I have not forgotten your kindness after the circle was so cruel to me. She takes Fasina by the hand. Fasina permits the gesture in a tight-lipped protest. I gave you a cup of tea. That is no excuse to pour at me like a grateful kitten. I must find my way to the surface or the closest thing to it. Once I am safe, we can speak more again, huh? I have some questions first. Sientere, but I will answer them another time. I'm eager to fly from this cage. I will see you soon, my friend. She grips your hand and pumps it once before uh, stepping away, smiling all the while. Nice, okay. I assume she's going to be in the main hall. Also, the quest is not over. Yeah, okay, so main hall. Good to know. I'm going to find out what her story is and whether there's any extra stuff going on. Whether she's seen our uh, wizard friend. Uh, Maura. Maura? Something like that. They keep pronouncing it differently. Actually, I think they pronounce it the same. I keep pronouncing it differently, so... Uh, right, Burkana. Did you need something? Burkana squints at you and fidgets, seemingly undecided where she should put her focus. But because she lost her mind again already. I'm the one who helped you out in the collections, remember? Of course. You're the one who gave me back the stars. Sientere, I'm just not myself outside of the observatory. You don't need to worry about me. Even if I might not always know your face. There's a place in my memory where the idea of you resides. If... If that makes sense. These two were bringing me up to speed on your... unfortunate recent history. I'm sorry that the Circle didn't get involved sooner. She glances at Tain and Lengrath. Just because we don't announce our actions from the roof of Kahanga Palace doesn't mean we do nothing. Well, no one invited me to get involved in the Aethys problem. I just showed up and assumed we all had the same idea. Before I forget, <laughs> again, here, some things I picked up on my way back from the collections. It's not much, but it's all I could scrounge together. Oh, no, 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 no. You need these more than I do. I don't especially care for potions. But if the Sanctum has any potted plants, I will be sure to water one. Burkana smiles and shrugs. I lost more than my senses in this place. The collections takes everything from people. Everything that matters. You've covered a lot of ground, so it can't hurt to ask. Have you seen my grimoire? Burkana bites her lower lip and glances around. I lost my grimoire once. Arkamir poured honey on the pages and left it on the roof for Gullus to pick over. I think he was punishing me for smacking around his favorite imp. When I got here, someone without a face ripped him out of my clutches. I've been worried sick ever since. Your grimoire is a him? My little book friend. We've been through a lot together, and we both have the creases to show for it. His spine is a little bent, and my index a few pages short. But together we make one half-decent wizard act. Burkarna taps her head and smiles lopsidedly. Wizards and their eccentricities. Something about Arcana must drive all Keith to madness. Do you think she's given her grimoire a name as well? Can't you scribe a new grimoire? The book is a piece of me, Huck. He's where my thoughts and conclusions go. So that I can find them if... When I forget them. With such things, it is not easy to start from the beginning. Your poor book, I'll see return safe and sound. Agrasima, I know that finding one specific book in this disorganized library is a tall order. She bows deeply. In this place, books tend to flow through the archives. I would go there myself, but I cannot fight the faceless ones holding any grimoire but my own. One of these days you must learn. A wizard must be adaptable, Ak. Vasina stands a little straighter and tilts her chin up. What inspired you to research the stars? The stars shine down on us always, but we hardly know them at all. 
until we can look them in the face. They are a mystery to rival the gods. The stars remind me of my smallness in the wider world. Our wars and our bloodshed, everything which causes us to raise a blade in anger, seem insignificant when you hold them up to starlight. For me, magic is the same, humbling. We organize that power into runes and books, but even then we are only seeing the light that magic casts, not the thing itself. I suppose I am inspired by the unbearable size and mystery of it all. It gives me hope in sad times. I get a similar feeling after my morning tea, but you will not hear me waxing poetic about it. How did you manage to set up your observatory? That island lies in some disputed waters. One day, Raut, I launched a colony ship to fortify the beaches, and the Valians responded in kind with a naval blockade. Onekaza held an open court to negotiate territory rights. I was the only petitioner who did not represent one of her enemies, and she thought it would be very funny if the trading companies left empty-handed. She even helped me finance the observatory and donated ten crates full of books. We have been good friends ever since. Onekaza visits whenever she can make the time. She loves to stargaze. All right, see ya. Cool. So we've rescued her, but we need to go and get her book, wherever her book is. But we did read something about where her book was in one of these. Uh, yeah. So it's in the quarantine section of the archives. Cool. Well, shouldn't be too hard to find. I mean, I'll just go to the quarantine section of the archives and it'll be there. Easy enough. Right. So, back up to the area that we unlocked of our shortcut. So I'm assuming this goes leads up here as well, but I could be wrong. Also looks like you can just head in the center and you'll get to the same spot as well. Well no, you get to a slightly different spot if you go straight through the center. Okay. Uh, let's head through the center this way. Okay. This area looks like the quarantine section. And what do we have here? I got this. Traps. I got this. As are everywhere else. What we got? Yeah, we'll have that stuff. Uh, Guardian of Oshu Shrine, Holding of the Watcher Haratu, the Dread Skull of Zeratera, Dread Serpent of the Lev of the uh, Living Lands, reported uh, Slayer of the Watcher Ida. Have that stuff. Remains of the Steward of Cadnua, Retainer of the Watcher of Cadnua. I like it because we've got our head in our. Um, uh, we've got her head in our ship. Kind of neat. Uh, this plaque has been defaced. Chief Librarian. Chief Librarian. A book just sitting right there. Keep it down. Oh, how could you not? You know? How could you not just take that book? It's sitting right there. It's hey there. asking to be I'll stolen. Leave it to me. It's saying, hey, steal me, steal me. Give me a real challenge. Incantations of the hand? Okay. Use the incantations of the hand to open the vault door leading to the oratory of the of hey, whale. Hey. Oh, okay, so that was actually our quest. Okay. Uh, the book contains a litany of incantations meant to be used for members of the hand occult to use in the course of their work. It contains a series of charms meant to attract the evil eye, closed doors, and abjure con... Uh, Closed doors and abjure conjured objects and instructions for the summoning of numerous sounds that give the listener a permanent ring in the ear. One enchantment of particular interest is meant to be applied to locks, makes them appear increasingly complex the more they are tinkered with. Oh, okay, so yeah. we could have gone down there, tinkered with the lock, sure. and gone, oh, it's getting more complicated, and then we would have had to have done this bit, and that solves it. Right. So, round to the other side, we're actually aiming to go into the quarantine section now and get uh, Burkana's, or Burkano's book. Yes. I kind of like this section. It's very odd. The game doesn't... The game has stealth in it, but it doesn't really have stealth in it, if you know what I'm meaning. Like, it's not a stealth mechanical game in, in the normal sense. It's very odd. So it, having, like, a whole stealth puzzle just doesn't make any sense. Have we got anything else here? Out of curiosity? Nope. 
I suspect that is a quest we can never f uh, fulfill or never solve because I think it's something to do with that potion that we got in the other place. But we'll see. Or that um, like potion table that I just went, well, let's just try what ha see what happens. And then it didn't really work. So I think that's uh, that. But we could head over there again and see whether there's anything else over there. Keep it down. Okay. Ooh, tentacles. That's a sign that our wizard friend's been here, right? Um, maybe. Although we didn't get anything else on that, so who knows? I see you there. Oh, uh, our curiosity. What's this one? Um, yes. Okay, that's fine. Insufferable. Nothing else need to worry about there. You're not alone. So that leads me to a spore-encrusted door. I'm going to head up here first. Explore around. This bit? Okay. I definitely read those. I'm sure a lot of these books are just from the first game, looking at them. Yeah. Yeah, these are all just books from the first game. Now that, now that I've recognized the pattern, a lot of them I'm just like, alright, I get it. Okay. So we're only really looking for new ones. Yeah, a lot of these I think you'll find we have uh, copies of already as well. Yeah, okay. Cool, through this way? Or wait, oh, there's more down over here. Okay, I'm gonna head further down. So explore one side, then explore I the next side. You there. How are we gonna deal with these? Well, where are you, a loth? Aye, indeed. I was thinking one of those, if you got it, you know. Arthic worth and rough. I cannot whack him any harder. That went pretty well, I'd say. Just unstealth everyone so they'll go into combat. Yeah. Shoot it. Uh, get the spore and uh, infested librarian. Vecina. Um. I don't know. Attack that one for just now. Zoti, run in at the spore, even though it's a bad idea. Actually, run in here and then use uh, ah, defense circle. Mowing. Yeah. Okay. So Loth's already killed a bunch of stuff back there, which is great, obviously. Uh, let's do an ice move like here. That looks great. Okay, this one's still stunned. Do we want to throw in like a blind on that one? Bullseye. I think we do. They got any bonuses? Not really. Apart from me immune. Okay. Try this. Right. I cannot whack him. Take a step back. Ooh, we killed some. Nice. Take a step back though. We killed all the imps. Brilliant news. Yeah. Show them how it. Oh, Whatever not all the might. imps. Almost all the imps. Right. Attack this. Miss. I'll land the next one. Um, that's fine. Adrenaline rush? Probably not what we're looking for. Be one of those. Right. Uh, knock it over. Right. We want to shoot in. Probably a pierce the bell on the spore. So we don't want it mind controlling because that's probably our most dangerous move. No rush. Just have to try. Um. Maybe I just want a blind here, actually, now. Something else. When the wheel has... Nice. Good. You all to dust. Uh, we'll Only keep attacking I this. Yeah, all of you guys attack this one. Remain. Good. You don't see every day. Just get rid of the wizard. Now, everyone on the back attack this one. Huh. See, that's the charm I was hoping to avoid. We can use Suppress Affliction to get rid of it. Hogwash! Mm -hmm. Uh, a loth. We got anything? What's it weak to? Weak to fire. Well, I propose fireball. Okay. Right. Uh, the fireball didn't seem to do anything. Do you want to try that again? I mean, it is sitting still, so... Still nothing really there. 
Okay. One of those, maybe? Yeah, try it. Why not? I was about to try constant recovery. Oh, thick then rough. Okay. Not exactly what I was going for. Mm. Does it, ha it does have like recovery on it now, so what I can use is for Cena, I can uh, cleanse that from it, hopefully. Yeah. I'll teach you. It hardly seems fair. Okay. So I've taken it uh, positive. <laughs> Should be easy to kill now. Yeah. Uh, just a quick heal. Okay, and it's dead. Good. She's charmed, but only because our, um, yeah, our suppressed affliction wore off. <laughs> so help me God, I'll whoop the next one of you who takes aim at me. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Uh, right. Well, don't see why not. There's the, oh, way into the restricted section. But wait, I, how do I get there? Uh, that's weird. I'm sure we've read all of those. The only reason I'm confused about that being a way into the restricted section is because... Ooh, what's this one? Uh, actually, I'm sure I've read that as well. Is because I didn't see any way here from the restricted section, from what I remember, so... Yeah, this is literally just the books from the first game in this section. Well, some of these are from the second game, from this game, but a lot... Oh, there's her depleted grimoire. Nice. Uh, the extensive rooms and annotations in the Grimoire are mostly faded from the page. Additionally, the text seems to be encoded by a complex cipher. This book is to, of no use to anyone in its current state. Cool. So now we have to restore it somehow. Isn't this something? Ooh, what is it? Oh, it's a Kraken's eye. Nice. Um, so did we read something about the Grimoire on this one? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't say anything about the grimoire. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Over here. Uh, the thick, uh, vredigris patina encrusts uh, the copper orb, locking it in place. Okay. I'm gonna head to restricted section because I want to know what's over there. I assume nothing. But we'll see. Probably just a door I missed. Oh no! It's just another way in. Interesting. Um, okay. Well, it's another thing that doesn't matter, because I already got the hand thing. Okay. Note on the imp. I'll hear no further arguments on the matter. You were the one who permitted that chittering loudmouth to roam the collections freely for your amusement. Now that it's escaped, you're responsible for fetching it back. You must also locate the pilfered artifacts. The Oracle warned us twice about keeping magic away from the imps. On the right side, this will prove a capital opportunity to test our milking procedure on a swollen imp. This is good practice for some during uh, Nemnok before his devoted following grows beyond our control. Ah, I remember Nemnok. Good. A gilded copy of the unfortunate tale of Favia and Burnet, a Valian tragedy. Hmm, nice. Uh, I'm gonna head through the burrowed hole. Oh, it's an imp. What you do here, eh? This my realm. Can I have a chat? How quaint. Another imp with delusions of grandeur. Who do we... No. Yes, not. So what, what's this guy's name? Not knock. Ah, okay. Um, Edir? That's a charge right there. Yeah, go. Hmm? I just want to see what they're weak to. Kind of weak to electricity. Well, no, he's weak to electricity. The rest aren't. Okay. Um, they got any buffs? Not really. Okay, so... Uh, I'm thinking that I'm gonna start this with... I don't know what I'm gonna do with her. Maybe... What's this one? Essential Phantom. Uh, sure. Let's do a little Phantom. Zoti. I'm thinking Defense Bubble. But, like, there. We're gonna shoot a Powered Up Blind, because that's kind of our go-to. And a loth. This is powered up blast of territory. Right, uh, also try and knock it over. Okay, everyone ready? Did I already hit it with a blind? I did. Fantastic. Um, let's hit it with one of those. 
This is futile. So that's how it's going. There's, There's a lot of attacks going in, but it's still going. Wow. Okay. It does have a buff, so I am going to try and steal that buff immediately from it. We don't have any major buffs on right now, so we should be fine. Whoa, what's happened to him? He's... Something. It's Mercurial Madness. He's more powerful. I don't really understand what happened there, but okay. Did I steal... I stole the buffs from Knock Knock. Okay. Or took them away. Um, next one, I'm thinking we're going to shoot in a powered up Tain's Chaotic Orb. Why mix things up too much, right? Next one from us. We don't really have a next one from us. Where's Zoti? Zoti's here. Um, Defense Circle seems good. Or, actually, probably Consecrated Ground. Phantom's fine. Um, Eddier? Maybe we can try and take away its armor with a little Sunder thing here. Yeah, one of those. We are going to shoot it with... We probably don't need to shoot it with anything else, actually. Uh, the Agules don't really worry me at all. Might do a little summon here. Oh wait, no, I already have a summon, so another summon would be bad. Uh, maybe just another Tain's Chaotic Orb, just immediately after the... Oh, wait, I was already had you casting. I've done too many people. Um, Maybe Lightning? Or, no, Tain's Chaotic Orb. Lava just just stack them. Yeah. Uh, what am I doing? Yeah, just do this. That looks like it. Oh, no. Okay, Eddier, dash. Okay, and then blast them with Next the Tain's time, Chaotic Orbs. I will secure a body that okay. We can switch to our melee weapon, so we're alright here. Although, yeah, I'm thinking we want to do a little teleport onto Knock Knock. Uh, that's fine. Zoti's fine as well. Um, we don't want to do minor avatar. A loth. Still got a Tain's Chaotic Orb coming in. Last. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Fasina's almost dead. Not great. Not not still going. Lightning. I know I do have Death Fall, a uh, Death Ring as well, which is pretty good. Maybe Death Ring's what I'm wanting to do. To enemies it touches, it says. Death Ring, I guess, is where I'm going with that. Zoti's about to become a god. Yeah. That's good. Uh, she's fine. What about a Loth? Not a Loth. Um, Eddier. He's fine. Where's Fasina? She's dead. Okay. Good to know. Um, is this really what I want to cast? No, I want to cast this one. The death ring. Yeah. You just want to hit, um, they're both near death. So they might just die. Perfect. Go. That was about as useful as a... Show them how Go and hit done. knock knock. Bump on a pickle. Ah, that's it. Yeah. The double kill of the death ring. <laughs> Fantastic news. <laughs> Asina's still going. Wow. She's alive. Um, well, I guess I'm going to drop my heel down then. Okay. That's not very Almost helpful. there. Heals good. Don't know what's happened to Eddier, but he's, uh, crazy again. Um, right. Go for a little jump and hit knock knock. Paralyze was good. A lot of damage coming in. Eddier needs to heal. Vecina's still not looking great. She is a trick aim trickster on her. She could use a death ring. That's a lot. Do we have anything from you? Another death ring. Just double death ring here. Nice. We almost got knock knock. This is futile. We got knock knock that time. Perfect. Yeah, really good. Flame Bright's about to die. Okay, get this imp trickster. Nice. Uh, do we have a heal from you? Yeah. Nice. Everyone's a little bit healed up. Our ghouls are not worrying. Right. 
And they're dead. Torres, be gone. Good. Ooh. That was, uh... Interest. Well, I said interesting in. Ooh, robes of wick. They've upgraded. After empowering ability, reflect hostile attack spells back to the target for 30 seconds. After empowering ability, nearby allies gain brilliant. Plus five intellect, use their abilities and spell at plus one power level and regain class resources. That's amazing. Those are actually amazing. Yeah, okay. Happy to oblige. That is, there's nothing else to say. That's just straight up the best. Assortment of junk is damp and reeks of imp effluvia. Happy to oblige. Watching. Okay. Um, right. We got some books at the back here. Uh, the alchemy of imp spray. Uh, it kept. I kept a pair of imps cage for the better part of three decades as I scripted the volume five of my series, Scent Languages of the Perverse. Every day, the duo would fill the air from their lands as they communicated across the distance. I grew to understand the alchemy of their spray by standing in its path and allowing the fetid effluvium to wash over me. Such wondrous effluvium. Uh, so uh, potent, it hovers over me still. Just as I had written the last page of what was to be my greatest work, the dialect of their spray changed entirely, rendering my findings useless. Oh, but how they laughed at my expense. I know the smell of failure is the reek of 30 years worth of concentrated imp fart sprayed into one's face, and the bitterness of having no academic recognition to show for it. As a quest item? But what quest? No idea. Okay. What can I do? Sure thing. Uh, in the back here, we have a sword. Burden. Two-handed great sword. Grants colossal and grieving. Colossal chance to knock a target prone when scoring a hit above 25 might. Minus one penetration when below 15% might. So you need a lot of might there. Yeah, so it's 10% prone now, which is amazing. And then Grieving. Plus one might until the end of combat whenever a party member is KO'd. Oh. It, it makes them. It makes you even stronger. When your allies fall. Okay, what are the upgrades? Denial. Which is... Um, hostile effects are reduced by the end of combat each time an ally is knocked out. And then Guilt. Uh, duration of beneficial ones are increased. Oh, and then you can... Yeah, okay. That's a very good sword for um, a character we don't have with yeah. us. Or have. All right. So. Interesting. Uh, okay, let's head out here. And I'll try and stop saying interesting. But, you know, when it's the first word that comes to your head, just gotta say it. Maybe we can trade the imp book to somebody? I don't know. Maybe. It says it's a quest item, so maybe. Um, yep. All of those we've read. If there's a book that's in the games, we're, we're likely to have read it. Just because of the number of books that we've I'll encountered. I'll see what I can find. That's another spore creature. Okay. Just avoiding fighting anything that I don't have to immediately. Nice and Just quiet. so I can figure out what's going on here. You know there are tentacle creatures down here, or there were tentacle creatures down there. We're not... Alone. What's this? The rune etched medallion hangs against the breastplate of this blood red armor secured around its gorget by a steel chain. Examine it. The pristine uh, patina of this armor seems to almost shift and flow as you peer at it. Gold gilds the plates, and a fine lattice work of rune etchings run along the trim. The blade held tight within the armor's gauntlets, however, shows sign of use, including stains of long dried blood. Examine the necklace with our rogue trickster. Fantastic. I like it. The pendant bears several potent signs of conjuration and blinding, doubtlessly designed to infuse the armor of soul essence and animate it with a semblance of in in intellect and life. I can break the enchantment. You dig amongst your gear and come up with a piece of chalk. You grind it down with the utmost care, wipe it into the sigils. Your defacement should, you hope, neutralize the enchantment without triggering it. Uh, the armor trembles and sags, whatever spell binding it broken. Uh, we got the disenchanted amulet of animation. The runes etched into this pendant animate the armor it's placed upon and imbue it for the grace and strength of a trained warrior, though little semblance of intellect and personality, or at least they did before you disenchanted it. We killed the enchanted armor by just 
taking away the enchantment. Oh. Kind of feels like we missed a fight there. I guess it's rewarding you for having intellect. Okay. Yeah, it's a little odd. Right. More books we've read. Wait. Yeah, I see there. it. The Sun and Chalice Crest is the only decoration remaining on this uh, rusted through Darkozy. Uh, the Darkozy Paladini breastplate. Okay. Keep heading around the edge here. Ooh, we got two things. The rudimentary rifle recovered from the wreckage of the Evan Dwyer Bridge. The bullet is lodged in the barrel and may never have been fired. Smithing hammer salvaged from Durgan's battery is too heavy to lift. Alright. I think Durgan's battery was the White March. That's a big gun. This cannon originated from Durgan's battery when you peer down in the bore, two unblinking yellow eyes peer back. And what do we have here? No, I wish the person who can disarm the trap to. Why is it only letting Eddier have a shot? Consider it done. There we go. The Wake's Wand is a soulbound wand. After empowering the ability, the wielder's recovery is immediately refreshed. That's actually insane. On the first level, these are just insane weapons we're getting, or items we're getting here. Uh, I'm assuming that we want to get rid of that one. Just looking at them. Uh, yeah. Let's get rid of that one. We can maybe give that one to Fasina if it's better than hers. It's just different than hers. Um, I think that this is slightly better, though. Yeah. I don't need her to have different weapons on each thing, because actually I, can, I realize they can just use the copy button, but whatever, we'll keep it like that, because I have it like that. Uh, we'll also put this one in the main hand. Damage-wise, it's not amazing, but it's alright. Bind Soul. Yes. Okay. Find and read the memoirs of Heldir in the archives. Oh wow, that's easy. Uh, the curve of this gold-plated wand suggests that writhing tentacles of a beast of the depths and wraps it around a ruby, uh, and wraps around, and wraps about a ruby of the color of freshly spilled blood. In the era following the fall of Ingwith, the Hand Occult gained such potent implements, uh, granted such potent implements to most cunning wizards and priests. Well, we know where the memoirs right are in theory, so hey we're okay. And then over here we have this construct bathes in liquid, so chilled it scalds your fingers. Yeah, the memoirs, we're fairly certain you need to get two things, one in here, one in the other place to open. Okay, and we already have the one in the other place. Ah, the enchanted armor drop stuff. Ah, there we go. I was thinking it was a bit anticlimactic. The crimson lacquer of this armor seems to shift subtly as the wearer moves, like falling rose petals or running blood. The gold trim bears uh, numerous finely traced symbols, the remnants of enchantments that animated it, and filled with animosity in the archives of the Hand Occult. So you get Frenzy. You enter a Frenzy. Each encounter the wearer has a chance to enter a Frenzy state upon being critically hit. Gain strong and fit as well as action speed bonus. While the Frenzy, the wearer receives a deflection penalty. And then Survivor. While Frenzy, the wearer gains a damage shield that absorbs some incoming damage. And that increases with the Survivor skill. Okay, it's kind of like a barbarian weapon. Or with armor, but not really. Yeah, okay. And the crimson plate, uh, head plate. Hmm. Just if you want the full set. Optimistic presence. Uh, all allies near the wearer also gain a damage shield. Amazing. Controlled rage. Uh, attacks can stagger foes. For uncontrolled rage. Critical hits bleed targets for raw damage. It seems fairly good. I'm going to take it. But... Is it better than either of these? Because she's got the soulbound armor. Collect the rest of Reinhard's equipment. Did I just miss that or something? Oh, okay. Uh, and then here, we've got the blackened plate. Which I think is really good. Yeah. Um, We could replace this one, I suppose. We go to... Let's have a look. So it's 13 on both of them. 
But yeah, she we'll we lose crush burn for well, we learn we lose burn for shock. Spread chaos. Bonus to all defenses when activated. When you're infused with Rimmergan's energy. Oh while afflicted, I see. Entropy guard. You can immobilize yourself. I never use an adrenaline rush, I never use it. Maybe I do want to give her this armor. Doesn't really go for headpiece, but you know, whatever. And then I'm gonna upgrade it with um optimistic presence. Yep. And then I think controlled rage, because she's not likely to crit. Yeah. Perfect. So it's fully upgraded now. Yep. Nice. I got this. She now looks different though, so I'm gonna forget who she is in combat. Just pre warning. Right, this way? Let's head down I into the store. You there. Show Go how get him. Done. <laughs> I'm not really worried about the tentacles, so. Yeah. There we go. As long as it's just tentacles, uh, I'm also going to switch ourselves back to the bow. Yeah. Right, quick save. I got this. Need I the proper this. key. Mm -hmm. We don't have the proper key. I Later. see. Sure. But it's our issue. Uh, so we must have to head up I'll this be way. Lookout. Yeah. Book. Wait, that just says book in the center. Book. Oh, is book. The gods see fractured souls, but they don't care for them. Damaged, broken people are abandoned by their makers to twist in the wind, given no succor, no relief. Would an intentionally fractured soul be similarly inconsequential to them? I will use their apathy against them. I will make their disdain serve me. Okay. Um, oh, there's another book down here. wonder if I missed any other books in the other section. I might have a look. A limb may be grafted from one tree to the trunk of another, and in time, they'll bear sweeter fruit together than either might have alone. Mightn't it be possible, then, to graft the scion soul to the rootstock of a willing kith? The souls wouldn't fracture, but coalesce. They'd grow stronger together. I'm sure we've heard talk about this before and it didn't go well. Hmm. Okay, I actually think all the books They'll might be in this section, looking at the size of this section, but we'll see. There's only five books. Okay. The molted heap of spore flesh ripples with agitation from the depths of a furry membrane, a long stalk emerges, topped with a mushroom vaguely shaped like an eyeball. The eyeball stares at you before it's uh, slothing off and rolling away, leaving behind a wet trail of slime. Greetings! The spore colony stiffens. Ripples of unease travel down its flesh. We are the Archmage Lengrath. What are you? Uh, what? Uh, you're not Langrath, I know her, and she isn't a fungus. Actually, you know what? I'm Palxa, captain of the Fon Ferris. A long tendril slowly extends out of the colony, exposing a fleshy membrane that inspects the air around you. Elf. Buoyant. Hmm, is that really the main thing that elves are? I guess. I can't say I'm terribly inclined to find out how it knows that. Your vessel essence is compatible with Langrath's song. Now you will accept our excrescence. A second tendril breaks off from the first. This one covered with barbs, uh, dribbling a syrupy green discharge. Casita, I know that you enjoy new experiences from time to time, but this thing wants to infest you, replace you, make you into a mushroom. Just thought I'd make that clear in case there was any confusion. Why do you think you're Langrath? We know we are Langrath. Okay. Lengrath is a thought line stretching between gardens, and our roots have touched his oldest song. Unproductive to debate with a vessel. You will understand shortly when your song joins ours. Oh, you don't need me in order to grow. Here's some fungal fertilizer I found earlier. Tribute? 
Langraf remembers the joy of favor reciprocation. The spore seems to shift its weight in hesitation. How fragrant your song. How musical your life water. We long to subsume them into Lemgrath. But we are not pain cruel as our captors were to us. We seek to endure, to flower as beautifully as you. Interesting how your first impulse was to make friends with the Fungus. Did it ever occur to you that some friendships are not worth the trouble? What are you? The spore lands were our soil and shadow. Then, a great hand plucked us and potted our heart bulb behind walls. In growth time, we wriggled through the cracks of our enclosure. Now, we are here, a garden of language, where we found Lengrath. The largest of the tendrils gestures to a pile of books. Now we grow as Lengrath, sing his thought song. Now we grow toward the body radiating light and water. When our spores touch the heart, we can be truly free. You want to grow in Whale's body? Affirmation. Delightful. The body garden is marred by inefficiencies. But we will optimize its storage growth. Our spore lands will thrive anew. Well, feel free to grow in Whale. I'm not here to stop you. Do you sing for the garden? What delightful fortune. Lemgrath will show you mercy care. May your moisture pool in a welcoming receptacle. Here, a language gift to seal our communion. And this should help you proceed to safer gardens. Dripping tendrils gesture towards a book. A key also clinks on the floor by your feet. Speaking as one who would rather take a torch to the infestation, I am impressed by your restraint. Fasina shrugs. So we got infested grimoire and a spore encrusted key. Okay. Well, we'll have this. I guess not. Okay. I thought that was a pet, so anyway. Um, where's the grimoire? We got into somebody's inventory? No, where is the grimoire? Guess it doesn't exist, and that's why we can't see it. That would make sense. Oh, no, there it is. Oh, look at those spells. Those are nice. We don't have all of those. Is that evocation? Yeah, there's a few evocations in there. It might be worth um, using that on uh, on Fasina, but maybe not. But it's just interesting that we have it. And then we have the key, which I assume opens the door. Yeah, good. And we'll mm -hmm. go and get the boot behind me. Ooh, Curious Sporling. Ours. 3% um, chance when hit with a weapon to charm the attacker. And 3% damage dealt as corrosive damage. Is gills expel a deadly neurotoxin when frightened, or they would if someone hadn't removed them? <laughs> and... A grafted soul is obscured from the sight of the gods. It spreads freely like a blood fever, but doesn't kill its host. No. I will be a fever of the spirit. Invisible. Unstoppable. Eternal. Okay. That's some more about Lengra. Okay. Yeah? Um, hey there, I got this. Oh, there are five of us. That's fine. Can we pet it now? Do we want to? <laughs> what, the Sporling? Yeah, I assume he's talking about the Sporling and not... Um, uh, not console hot. Hello, are we friends now? Yes, we are friends, not food. Oh, we're friends of all of them. That's good. Ancient tablet. Yeah, fairly certain we've read that. Yeah, the yeah. Elf yeah. Holds his green. I'm, I'm kind of not even thinking there's a chance there's any of these I haven't read. Uh, like a clumsy but, you initiate. Know, I'm picking them all up anyway, so... Yeah. I think this was an opportunity for them to just drop a bunch of books on you because, well, you know... It's right here. kind of the perfect opportunity. Sure. Anyway. The trees of Air Glanfath possess souls as strong as any kith. 
and their entangled roots extend for miles. But dig beneath any of them, follow those roots, and you'll see they don't end, but lead to a neighbor. They're many souls sharing one body. Why shouldn't willing Kith be able to do the same? Mm, yeah, that sounds like a bad plan. Overall, many souls sharing one body. I can't see how that would go well. So Langrath wants these, so let's go take them back to Langrath. Well, I want to see what's through the door. Where does this lead? Leads down this way. To another way into the central stacks. And this, I think, is the end of the path, which is why I wanted to head this way. Yeah, so this should be the other side of that door. That we were at. Yeah, look at that. It's the other side of the door. We can open that up. Shortcut unlocked, and then if I head this way, we should get a few extra bits and pieces, and hopefully some traps that I can disable. Oh, we're friends of the Sporlings. Yes, hello there, Sporlings. Um, what's this? Arizetto's cane. Oh, it's a one-handed club. That looks really good. 50% chance on scoring a crit to lower enemy deflection. We don't crit that often with Eddier, but okay. 20% defense is against all dexterity afflictions, so it's nice. What's Eddier using right now? He's using this one. So, 5% chance to sicken a target and grants nobility and grace. Nobility, resistance to con uh, afflictions while unharmed or healthy. And constantly restores health while bloodied or near health. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, okay. Oh, and that's the collective annals of uh, Lengrath. Okay, so what's the upgrade to these? You get it legendary, sure, and then haughty. 50% chance to restore crit, which increases with, with intimidate or, uh, or diplomacy. Diplomacy, though? That's intriguing, because right we right have there. insane diplomacy. <laughs> I think, don't we? It's been a while, but do we have insane diplomacy? Um, our diplomacy is, well, it's 17. It's not insane, but it's pretty good. Diplomacy. That would definitely do a lot of work for us. Right, so I still don't know where this um, extra thing is to unlock the thing in the center. Not this one, but the uh, the one to unlock um, a lost new outfit. Oh no, we'll see. Get back to the Temple of Revelation for a second here. Um, you know, it might be a good point to end the episode and then we'll do some of this next time. You know what? We'll do that. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then. Goodbye.